Hi, I'm Mark, coming to you from Baker's Green Acres, and uh, I've been gone for a couple days uh, out to New Hampshire to look at a farm out there for a friend, but I'm back now. It's good to be back. Today's Wednesday, um, and it's supposed to be spring, but we got snow and it was down in the 20s last night, so winter's hanging on just a little bit. But I got a pretty good question here that I, I think is uh, relevant to the season that's coming, so here I go. Uh, this comes from Kathy Bumgartner out in Kentucky, and she said, we'd like to know the best chicken house plans for sale. There's some other things in here that I won't go into, but <clears throat> there's a question between a chicken coop and a chicken tractor, all right? And I plan to explain tomorrow what a chicken tractor is and actually show you. Um, but today I want to talk about a chicken coop. And the two options would be a movable chicken coop and a stationary coop. All right. Now the question goes uh, like this: We are looking for the. Uh, would like to know where the best chicken house plans are for sale. I really don't know about that. And my wife uh, got back to her and said that uh, you know I would try and, and answer that question. Well, I I think that if you look at one and you decide what your needs are. You could sit down and you could design one, and that's what I did. I want to show you what I was looking for in a, in a chicken coop. Now, what I do is <clears throat> I follow my cattle by about four or five days with my chickens. All right, so this chicken house here will have 200 chickens in it, and then we can pull this one along so it is movable. And when I move the cattle off of a field, in, in four or five days, I'll put the chickens on that field. And the chickens will go through and they'll scavenge for bugs and they'll uh, tear apart the, uh, the manure piles and get all the little fly larvae out of there. And so it does a couple things. It feeds them good protein, which they need, the chickens. And it also uh, sanitizes the pasture because it, it spreads out all that manure and allows it to get down into the, uh, the soil quicker. And, it's very good for the pasture. You know, the pasture needs manure. <clears throat> so, uh, we designed this chicken coop with that in mind. Uh, it's got skids on the bottom. A skid would be like a ski. And all I did was take a 6x6 six six pressure treated post that was uh, 12 foot long and then cut it at an angle, you know, like a ski. Drilled a hole through it so you could put a piece of rope through it. And then we can hook it up to a a tractor or an ATV or a, I got an S10 pickup that'll pull it and we just skid it along where we want it to go but it sits on the ground you know we didn't have to do any wheels or anything like that we're pretty flat here so we can get away with it some places you couldn't you'd have to use a some sort of a wheel running gear and then another thing that I was looking for when I put this together this is like the, the third or fourth one that I built uh, I wanted to be able to get at the eggs easily so put in this, I don't know if you can see this, let me just tilt that down here, put in this door right here, and once I flip that up, this opens up like that, and you can, it's uh, like 9 o'clock in the morning, so these hens are, they're in there now and they're laying, so I can just get right at the eggs, they're right there, ooh, there's a nice warm one, this, uh, you know, there's four laying boxes in here, and that's enough. You know, it forces the chickens to lay all in the same area. And then we can clean this very easily from the outside. You just scoop out the old bedding. And then we did another thing is we put a, a lid on the top of the uh, nesting boxes that we could lower at night so the chickens won't sleep in their nesting boxes because they'd like to do that. So we can get the eggs really easily. You don't have to go crawling inside which is a nice thing. I'm going to put this back up. And then I put in this here. This is a vent. So if it gets really cold out and the wind's really whistling, we can close this off. And there's one on the other side as well. But generally this stays up. Um, and then on this door, on this side, there's a personnel door where I can get in there. It's big enough for me to get in there. Uh, on this side, on this end, there's a small door that's only about this big. 
and it's hinged, so it flips up. It's got this rope on it. I don't know if you can see. No, I can't see that. Okay, it's got a rope right here that you pull this rope up, and that'll open the door up. So this chicken house might be down a quarter of a mile from the farmhouse, and uh, our dogs might not know if there's something going on out there. So most of the time, we'll just run down there in the evening, and the chickens will be in and close the door. And that way nothing can get in and hurt the chickens. And there's plenty of roosts inside of here where they can all be sitting up on posts or on poles that are going uh, horizontally, and they all have a place to sit. So the difference between a stationary and a movable one, uh, if you have a movable one, it gives you a lot of uh, freedom to operate year-round. Now, if I left this outside, there'd be two feet of snow on top of it, the chickens would never leave. Chickens don't like walking on the snow much. And uh, it would get really messy inside. So what I do is I move it in. This is a clear span building that I'm in. We use it for brooding in the summertime, uh, but it's no use in the wintertime much. We don't raise many chickens in the wintertime. And so we move the layers in. Now the difference between layers and broilers, if you don't know already, the broiler chickens are the, the chickens that we put out in chicken tractors, and we are raising those for meat, solely for meat. And we get them in and out of here in uh, eight to ten weeks, depending on the size that we're after. These chickens are for eggs, just eggs. And, uh, you know, they'll continue to lay uh, all winter long, but their environment has to be you know, conducive to that. If, if they're all jammed up inside of this thing, outside, and they can't get out, it's not going to be a pretty situation. So we give them plenty of room in here, inside the clear span. Let's see if I can pan over here and look at that. I just build a little fenced-in area that they can get out of here and they can mill around in here, and then we bed it with straw or hay or whatever. And that uh, bedding pack becomes the beginning for our our compost pile that we make every summer from the bedding that's in this building uh, because we brewed lots and lots of chicks in here. We're brooding over 2,500 chicks in here, you know, at any given time during the summer. So it makes for quite a bit of bedding, and that bedding's got to come out, and we have to do something with it that makes use of it. So we'll pile it up. And, you know, it makes heat, and composting is a whole other story. So, anyway, my, my recommendation is, even if you want a stationary uh, chicken coop, build one on skids, and if you want it stationary, don't move it. But someday, if you want to move it, you can. Like, even uh, if you decide you don't want to do chickens, you might want to get rid of them. We'll talk again another time about feeding of these chickens because uh, that's, that's of, of concern too. Um, but I think that answers it for now, Catherine. So uh, remember, anyone can farm, and thanks for listening. Bye.